My name is Rabbi Daniel Bogard. I'm a rabbi at Central Reform Congregation in the city of St. Louis. I'm an activist in the Missouri legislature for all sorts of issues, but because I am the parent of a trans kid, my government has been at war with my child and my family. But I'm here today because I want to tell you about the very best thing that I have ever been a part of in my entire life. Three years ago, a few of us activists sitting in the trenches down in Jeff City after listening to the brutal, awful, abusive things that our legislators, legislators say again and again about our kiddos and about us as parents, we were sitting there broken and thought to ourselves, what if there was a place for these kids where they could look around and for just a moment, everyone was like them? And so we decided to create a camp. We dreamed it up three years ago, Camp Indigo Point, we called it. We thought we were gonna get 20 kids from around St. Louis, and let me tell you, we finished last week our third summer, and we got 130 campers from 33 states. We had a kid get on a plane from Anchorage, Alaska, to come to rural Illinois so that everyone around them was like them. I wanna tell you a story that happened just three weeks ago. My co-founder, Shira Berkowitz, was checking out at REI. They were just buying some things for themselves. And as they hand their credit card over to the checkout woman, she starts crying. And she looks back at Shira and says, I know you. You're a part of that camp. My kid is alive because of your camp. We know it when you look at the awful, awful rates of suicidality amongst trans kids. We know that the one thing that makes a difference, the one thing that changes that is when they have a supportive, loving adult who affirms them in their lives. So imagine giving a kid a place where they can go for two weeks and not just are all of the campers in their bunk, queer kids like them, but their heroes, their counselors are 20 something queer folk like them. They go to the nurse to get their medicines and they have a 70 year old lesbian there. We are giving these kids ancestors and we are investing in a hope that no bully in an assistant principal's office enabled by the bigots who run our state can extinguish. We are saving lives with campfires with arts and crafts, and with radical intergenerational queer community. We have two core values. The first is that every single one of these staff people needs to be queer. And the second is that the camper who can afford camp the least is probably the camper who needs camp the most. So we raise $115,000 a year to give out in scholarships and security and staff, and we need your help. You save lives with your donations. There are going to be thriving, vibrant queer kids who are gonna be alive because they had these weeks and they had your support. And my other request is this. If you're a part of a faith community, if you're a part of a church, please go back to your board. Tell them that you want them to become a faith partner of Camp Indigo Point. It's an $1,800 commitment a year, which pays for a scholarship for one camper. And I don't mean to throw any shade, but I would say 90% of our faith sponsors are in the Jewish community. So churches, thank you. Please give what you can. You are saving lives. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you for being here.